Okay, this is going to be a video about uh, rolling out a slab. So a lot of our extra projects when you're finished um, with something have to do with uh, slab work. So I went and got some clay from the bucket and then I'm going to wedge it up. Make sure you take clay that's soft. Try, try to avoid the clay that's hard or better yet, put it in the reclaim bucket. And so now you can see that I have been wedging the clay up and mixing it. So I'm going to go get a slab mat and I'm going to begin pounding. The, the key is to go slowly to compress the clay. I have quite a bit of clay here. And then you're going to throw a slab. Now to throw a slab, sometimes I avoid the slab mat so that I can get the resistance of the table. And I take it in both hands and I pull towards me. So I take my hands away like this. Kind of like that game where you're trying to slap each other's hands and you're pulling them away. But I pick it up on the right side and turn it and toss it. Pick it up on the right side, turn it and toss it. You also could do it with the left side. Pick it up on the left side, turn it and toss it. Now as it gets thinner, I go back to the slab mat because we don't want it to stick to the table. And that's looking pretty good. Maybe one more time. Now you'll notice that when you throw a slab, that there's gonna be a little tears in the clay. And what you're gonna do is take your rib, any of the ribs will work, and compress that clay. Little bit of water, you don't want a lot of water or when you turn it over, it's gonna stick. But really compress that clay. If you have any air pockets in there, you can pop them and then go over with your rib again. So now I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to compress this side. Now I'm ready to go um, for the next video. Okay, for... Um, Rolling out a slab, you're going to want to get some clay. And then usually the first thing I do is pound it down. This is already quite square, but you might get a round lump of clay. And make sure that you're flipping it over. You know, if it does stick to your slab mat, I can show you how to peel the slab mat off the back. But really compress that clay. And so now I'm going to toss it. So I'm going to pick it up. And I'm going to toss it out, and then when I'm dropping it, I'm pulling it back across like this. So I shouldn't hear anybody's land be super loud. It's really quite gentle. So we're throwing a slab. Sometimes I say tossing a slab. Now the other way to do it is to use the sticks on either side and then get the rolling pin. Start in the middle and push out and pull back. But the truth is, for this project, these sticks are just a tad thick. So I decided I wanted mine just a little thinner. So I'm going to toss it two more times, once in one direction and once in another direction. And I want you to notice that I picked it up this way and flipped it over and tossed it, picked it up this way and flipped it over and tossed it. Now I'm going to take my rib. And I'm going to compress that clay. Really compress that clay. So you want to go in opposite directions. Go one way and then go the other way. So in this case, I'm using my yellow rib. You really can use any rib except the one with the teeth. So now I'm going to take it again and go this way. And go this way. 